London certainly has given me amazing opportunities that in Sydney I really could only dream about. You really feel like you're at the epicentre of art and music and everything that's progressive. The amount of theatre that's on in this city is so extraordinary. I'm seeing about four plays a week and barely scratching the surface. My name's Omar Musa. I'm a hip-hop artist. When I was in London, I was lucky enough to work with a guy called Akala, who's one of the most prominent hip-hop artists in England. The city, his motto is gimme, gimme, gimme. Brimming with the mist, it is shining so pretty. Bright lights, people on the street corner committees. Zero in my dilly bag, I'm feeling so dizzy. My name's Tommy Murphy and I'm a playwright. Currently here in London, the Royal Court, working on a new play. It was really important to have the British Council to get me a foot in the door here at the Royal Court. It's the best new writing theatre that I can think of in the world. Hello, my name's Katrina Schwartz. When I came to London, I worked at Art Angel, who produce amazing art installations, really dream projects, massive scale, blockbuster shows. I'm still awed by the places I've had the opportunity to work at in London and other people, you know, potential employers feel that way too. When you're in London, you're just one of millions trying to make it, so you really have to step your game up and that sort of level of competition and that aggressive pursuit of what you're after is really positive because it forces you to get to a new level. It's just so important to completely back yourself, articulate a dream that sounds preposterous and ridiculous to anybody else but you. I think that's really what they're looking for. What you